do I know if I'm transgender? Well, psh, um, that's a big question. I remember when I asked myself that though. I went about four years dabbing with the idea of what gender really meant and how I felt about myself. In short, if you're asking yourself this question, there's a chance you're not cisgender. A word meaning that you identify with the sex you were given at birth. Now, the question is, are you transgender? Gender is a wide, inclusive spectrum, and transgender is a term that you can choose to use for yourself or not. Take this genderbred person from its pronounced metrosexual. Contrary to what most people believe, gender and sex are different. Sex is what you are usually assigned by doctors at birth, usually male or female. Gender isn't binary like that, and it's not either or. Gender identity is how you and your mind define your gender based on how you feel. Like womanness, manness scale. It's also important to recognize that just because you're super masculine or feminine doesn't instantly identify you as male or female. There's many androgynous people that don't choose either one or choose both. Think about the way you react to the pronouns used towards you. Think about what you'll look like when you get older. This is something I didn't really think about until I was about a year on T, and I'm like, what am I even gonna be looking like at 50? Am I still gonna be wearing the hoodie sweatpants 30 years from now? Once I held the McDonald's door for this older lady leaving and she said, thank you, sir, such a fine gentleman. I perked and sat like so tall, but at first I thought it was just funny to pass as male. I started to look forward to it when I held doors open. I just had such a boost of confidence hearing that pronoun. You need to just take some time and do some reflecting, do research on other people's stories and find someone you relate with. Experiment with pronouns with someone that you trust with your secret, usually a best friend or just with yourself in the mirror say things like he's awesome, she's awesome, they're awesome. Just try to see which sparks joy. Remember, just because you're evaluating your gender doesn't mean that you need to fit into male or female. Gender is a spectrum and you don't have to label yourself if you don't want to. That feeling falls more in the non-binary category. Time to hit you with some basic vocab for you to be able to fully understand this course. Transgender. People who have a different identity or expression that differs from their assigned sex they were given at birth. Non-binary or genderqueer is an umbrella term for someone who doesn't identify as man or woman. Cisgender. Term for people whose gender identity matches the sex they were assigned at birth. Dysphoria. The distress, emotional or psychological, a person experiences when their gender identity as male or female is opposite to their biological sex. Everyone experiences different levels of dysphoria for different reasons. Transgender isn't just a blanket statement that means everyone experiences dysphoria. Binding, a technique used to minimize the appearance of someone's breasts. Packing, wearing the padding of a phallic object in the front of their pants or underwear to give the appearance of having a penis or a male bulge to alleviate bottom dysphoria. Some use prosthetics, and some trans-identified people don't pack at all. Passing is being perceived by others as a particular identity or gender. This term has come controversial as passing can apply that one's not genuinely what they're passing as. Gender-affirming hormone therapy, formerly HRT, hormone replacement therapy, are sex hormones and other hormonal medications that are administered to transgender or gender non-conforming individuals for the purpose of more closely aligning their secondary sexual characteristics with their gender identity. It's the act of taking hormones like estrogen or testosterone or T to physically transition from male to female or female to male. Top surgery is a surgery that removes breasts from a biological female. There are many different types of top surgery that we're gonna learn in the module five. In bottom surgery are genital surgeries such as vaginoplasty, phalloplasty, or mitoidioplasty. Don't worry, we'll cover those in a little more detail later on. I just wanna make sure that you get a gist of kind of what these things mean so that way when you're in a further module category lesson, um, you can come back and refer to that so that way that you'll know what you, kind of what we're talking about a little bit more or maybe you're just one of those people that soaks it up, um, you know. Either way, this is there for you and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.